I love using Kittle for my print-on-demand business, and I also use it for a lot of commercial and personal projects as well. In this video, I'm going to be covering specifically Kittle AI. And AI, of course, stands for artificial intelligence. I'm gonna share with you three things you can do using Kittle AI tools. These will help take your designs to the next level. And I'm gonna put a link in the video description below how you can sign up for Kittle. I think it's a great value and it's an awesome subscription. So check it out. This is an affiliate link, so just a heads up. If you do click on it and you wind up purchasing the subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in with the first AI tool. Okay, so for the first AI tool, I'm gonna to click on New Project on the top right-hand side, and I'm gonna pick just a POD preset, which is a print-on-demand preset. I'm gonna pick, for example, Displate, and I'm gonna click Create. So for here, I've got the background. I can just click on the background color and I can change it to whatever I want. I'm gonna make it just a bit darker. Okay, so the actual Kittle AI tool is located on the lower left-hand side. You're gonna click on Kittle AI. And from there, you're gonna get a number of credits you can use. And you're just gonna type into the chat window what you want. So in my case, I'm gonna type in angry bear in the forest. Now there's different image styles down below. So you can see there's all these different image styles. And then there's also clip art styles and vector styles. This is really neat. So for example, the image style, I'm gonna pick this synth wave and I'm gonna click generate image. And that's a really cool feature now. It just populates it right into my design and I can make it larger, smaller. I can do anything with, that I want with it, move it around. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Obviously that is an angry bear in the forest. I'm just gonna click on a different image style and we're just gonna pick something else here. I'm gonna pick painting and I'll click generate image. And here's the same text, but just a different style. And here is an awfully big grizzly bear in the forest. How'd you like to see that thing coming at you? I live in Canada and even I don't wanna see that. Okay, so this looks fantastic. So that is Kittle AI. You wanna type into the chat window, make sure to click on your image styles and you can have a ton of fun with Kittle AI. The second AI tool is the AI product background generator. And it's at the very top on the top menu, you're gonna go up to AI tools and you'll see AI product background. And we're gonna see here, you can take a picture of something. I'm gonna click try now. And basically I could upload an image. And here I've got an image of a Funko Pop that I put on my table. I took a picture of it and we'll see what it does. And just like that, it removed the background. And now I can select over here on the right, I can pick a prompt or a scene. So I'm gonna start with the scene. I'm gonna pick Warm Studio, for example, and I'm gonna click Generate Background. And that's just gonna put this Warm Studio background in behind my Funko. And there we can see this is a nice warm background and there's my Funko Pop sitting on a totally computer AI generated shelf that's not a real shelf. That looks fantastic. Now the other thing you can do is this prompt button. You can actually type in something here. So I'm gonna write product lying on a beach and I'll click generate background. And there's my Funko traveling the world. It's sitting on the beach and it's sitting on somebody's towel. That looks fantastic. You can really have some fun with different backgrounds if you've got product placement, maybe for your website or you're trying to sell something, you'd like a decent mock-up. There's all sorts of cool variations you can do using Kittle AI. The third AI tool is right on this main page and it's right here at the top. It says Kittle AI. These are templates that contain AI elements and you can use these. If you have a Kittle subscription, you can simply click on the design and you can modify it and do whatever you like. So for example, I'm gonna click on this one here, the psilocybin mushroom design. You can click use this design, you can favorite it and I'm gonna click on it to use this design. And now from here, I can use this as my own. I can click and move. Here we've got a PNG. Here we've got a JPEG. We've also got the text. We can move that around. We can make it bigger or smaller. So just as an example, I'm gonna just do Control Z there to undo all this. I'm gonna pick the text down at the bottom and it says the gateway to new perspectives. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I can distort the text if I want. I can change the actual font. I can make it larger or smaller. I can skew it all over the place. There's all sorts of things that I can do here to make it absolutely my own. So just like that, I've updated the text down at the bottom. I do wanna point out as well, you can vectorize an image. So I'm gonna get rid of the JPEG on the mushroom and I'm gonna click on this one mushroom here. You'll notice I can't modify the colors on it, but if I click image vectorizer right there, I can click vectorize image. Now it's gonna ask me how many colors I'd like to do. So I'm gonna say, let's say 10 colors and I'll click vectorize image. That's basically gonna trace it and create a vector image for me to use. 
And so check that out. Now when I click on it, you'll see the object colors over here have changed. So if I wanted to change the purple, for example, and make it bright red, I could do so. And you'll see now it's changing the color in real time. So you can take some great looking AI generated images and you can actually turn them into vectors for use in your images. I absolutely love this feature. The value of having a Kittle subscription hopefully is pretty obvious by now. I highly recommend checking out Kittle in more detail. Hopefully the value of Kittle is becoming apparent. I've got lots more videos on Kittle on my channel. Make sure to check them out, including this one. I absolutely love using Kittle. Thanks a lot for watching.